donc, uh, so I'm uh, Linda Misaouden, I'm a researcher from Algeria. And the work that I will present today is about optimization and uh, validation of new ultrasound assisted extraction of phenolic compounds from celery. We have used an experimental design and UPLC. Uh, celery is a culinary herb, aromatic and medicinal plant, and it is a good source of vitamins, nutrients, and a variety of uh, phytochemicals, uh, including phenolic compounds. Due to its richness in uh, bioactive substances, it has many therapeutic effects. And the aim of this study is to identify the phenolic compounds from celery and to generate a new and efficient ultra assisted extraction method for their extraction. For this, the fresh samples of celery were uh, ground by the mean of a kitchen a mixer, then the resulting material was stored in a closed bottles. After that, the extraction was carried out by using ultrasound apparatus according to uh, the experimental design. We have used as solvent a mixture of methanol and water uh, and the concentration of methanol ranged between uh, 16 to 60 to uh, 100%. The second study parameter is the temperature and it ranged between 10 to uh, 70 degrees. The third parameter is the uh, liquid to solid ratio which ranged between uh, five, uh, from five to 10 milliliters per gram. At the end of the extraction, the mixture was centrifugated and the supertentant was remo removed and stored and uh, filtered prior to uh, its injection in the UPLC system for quantification and identification of the phenolic compound. In order to evaluate the effect of the extraction parameters and to optimize the condition for uh, celery extraction using the ultrasound assisted extraction, the rift and surface methodology was used in association with the box banking design. <coughs> In order to measure the precision of the generated method, the repeatability and the reproducibility were measured using the best condition. Repeatability was determined by uh, carrying out nine, extraction, uh, nine extractions under the optimal conditions on the same day. However, reproducibility was calculated by carrying out uh, extractions on three different days uh, four extractions per day. The kinetic study was carried out by the investigation of the recoveries from the same samples under the best conditions at different extraction times from uh, five to 30 minutes. And the results were uh, processed by using the statistical software META. Uh, as a result, when compared with standards, two phenolic compounds and two flavonoids were uh, identified from celery. The phenolic acids were caffeic and paracomalic acid, and the flavonoids were the luteolin and its glucosid derivative. The performance of the model was assessed by the lack of feed test and the air square in addition to the relative standard deviation of the experimental and the predicted values. The p-value obtained for the lack of feed was about uh, 0 0.2021, which is higher than the 
uh, significant uh, p-value, indicating that the lack of fit was not significant. The second parameter is the R square, and it's closer to one. The, this indicates the, the existence of a good correlation between experimental and predicted values. And so this suggests that 86% uh, of the predicted values are correct. And according to the, this result, we can say that the developed mathematical model can correctly predict the recovery. Uh, now, the effect of uh, when studying the effect of uh, experimental, uh, uh, the, the, when studying the effect of experimental parameters on the recovery of phenolic uh, compounds, we have found that uh, uh, methanol concentration is uh, was the single significant parameter affecting the recovery of the celery phenolic compounds with a p-value which is lower than the uh, significant value. We can see from the figure that the recovery increased proportionally with the methanol concentration and the highest level was recorded by the methanol concentration of 100%. The second study parameter is the sonication temperature. We have found that uh, its, um, uh, its uh, impact is not highly significant. However, we can see that the recovery increased simultaneously with the temperature increase. And the best recovery was obtained when temperature reached uh, 70 degrees. Now the third uh, parameter uh, which is the liquid to solid ratio. Uh, its impact on the, uh, the cellular phenolic compound recovery was found to be negligible. And after optimization, the best recovery was 8.33 milliliter per gram. Uh, the, uh, concerning the extraction uh, kinetic, uh, we have studied the effect of sonication time on cellular phenolic recovery, and we have noticed that uh, an increase in the sonification in the sonication time enhanced the recovery initially up to peak value at 10 minutes. Then, as it is shown in the figure, an extraction time above 10 minutes led to a decrease in phenolic compound recovery because of the degradation by hydrolysis and oxidation at higher temperatures, especially when extracted for a uh, long time. Concerning the method validation, uh, the, the relative standard deviation obtain, values obtained for uh, both repeatability and reproducibility were below the acceptable limits, indicating that the developed method is able to generate the same results for several experiments using the same simple. In conclusion, the best extraction, the best extraction conditions, uh, the best extraction conditions were 10 minutes for uh, extraction time, 70 degree for incubation temperature, 100% for methanol concentration, and 8.33 milliliter uh, per gram for liquid to solid ratio. And the mathematical model is appropriate for the prediction of the considered response, which is the cellular phenolic compounds recovery. And finally, the developed method was validated by the reputability and the reproducibility, and it can potentially be applied in the pharmaceutical and food industries for quality control analysis. And uh, thank you for uh, your attention. <laughs>